Hey everyone, another quick tutorial for Adobe After Effects. We're going to go over organization and layer properties. So when you have a big project within Adobe After Effects, your project window here can fill up and be very hard to navigate. You can add folders to this window by clicking here and adding a folder. What I like to do is separate my different file types. So I might make a folder for compositions and music and footage and then you can just drag your files into whichever folder that you would like them to be in and once all your files are in the folder you want you can see them by clicking this drop down arrow And this can help when you have a lot of different files that you would like to put into your project just to keep them organized. Obviously you can organize them in whichever way makes more sense to you. So if you're, so you can organize them by file type or by where they're going to appear in your project. It just depends on the way that's going to be the easiest for you to understand your organization. Now going on to layer properties, we went over in a previous tutorial, the basic tools. In a previous tutorial, we went over these tools. The properties, the layer properties, are similar to some of the tools that we went over before, and, and it just adds more customization for your project. Now we can click this arrow to bring a drop-down menu. Here, we see two options, Transform and Audio. I'm going to click Transform first. As you can see, there's various options here. I'm going to go through them one by one. So anchor point is the point in which the clip is anchored to the composition. The anchor point is the point of your clip that is anchored to the composition. This is the point that it will rotate around or that it will consider the anchor point is the point of your clip that is connected to your composition. So if you see here, this symbol is for the anchor point. So this anchor point is found in the middle. So if I rotate this clip, it's going to rotate around the middle like this. So if I move the anchor point, let's just adjust the value and drag the clip back into place. Now when I go and I rotate the clip, it's going to rotate around that point instead of around the center. Depending on how you want your clip to rotate or move or scale, sometimes moving the anchor point is beneficial. It just depends on your personal project. So I'm going to move the anchor point back by hitting Control Z a couple times. We're going to go to position. So like we learned previously, we can use the arrow tool to move the position of our clip within the composition. For more control, you can use the position setting down here. You can move it to specific X and Y positions. For scale, you can slide these, make your clip bigger or smaller. Rotation is going to work very similar to the rotation tool. It's going to move it around the anchor point to the degrees that you change it to. And the opacity is how transparent or opaque the clip is. So if I have a clip underneath this one and I change the opacity, you can see that you can see both clips at the same time. These transform tools like I said, do a lot of the same things that the tools we learned about previously do. The reason that these ones are so important is that you can use them with keyframes. Keyframes is something we're going to go through in another tutorial, but it's a good thing to know that it exists. The last thing underneath this property window is audio. So I'm going to open the audio on a music clip because it's a little easier to see. So once you open the audio tab, you'll see you have audio levels here. That's going to be increasing or decreasing the volume. And you also have waveform. So I open this waveform, you can see 
the ups and downs of the waveform throughout the project. If you zoom in, you can see more of how the waveforms. If you zoom in, you can see the waveforms in more detail. And those are some basic properties within. Those are some basic layer properties and organizational tips within Adobe After Effects. Thanks for watching.